17 News. All right, Marisa, thank you for that. Data from Johns Hopkins University showing about 12.5 million cases of COVID in the U.S. That a new model predicts that number could pass the 20 million mark before the end of January. Hospitalizations, as we just heard, of course, in Lauren's story, escalating in several states, including California, which has seen an ICU admission increase by 77% over the last two weeks. Almost 260,000 Americans have now died from the virus. More than 4.6 million have recovered. Well, this is the first I would say most the first snowfall, at least at my house, which means pretty much everyone in West Michigan has seen some here or there. Kevin Craig breaking down uh, what's in store. This is a shot from Rockford as the sun was up. It didn't stick real great in certain spots, Kevin. Uh, sounds like we're okay on the downstretch now with some rain coming our way. Yeah, we've got about two to three inches of snow out there across a lot of the areas, probably only about an inch across our southern counties. Thanks, Derek. Good evening, everybody. Trust me, I just made this out in the parking lot. Take a look at that. This is very good packing snow. And let me give you mom and dads and some kids some advice. Uh, if you want to go out and do what these kids did in Muskegon today, I think we have visual proof. This is one of the first snowmen this season constructed with this season's snow. He's even COVID friendly. Thanks to Sarah Jane for sending that and great shot there. My point was just to tell you folks, if you want to get out and do this and you want to do that, do it right now because I think almost all of this snow is going to be gone by daybreak tomorrow. So I'm just saying get out there and try to have fun in it right now. Hey, 43 is the normal of the average high for this time of the year. We made 34 and actually we just hit 35. So that's the technical, the daytime high for Grand Rapids. And here's your other daytime high temperatures. We're not finished. We're still going to climb with high temperatures very gradually through the evening and the overnight hours. And as we do that and we wrap that warmer air in, everything's going to continue to transition over to some light rain or drizzle. And with the warmer temperatures, the snow is going to go away. The last areas to see that change over will be our northern counties, Oceana, Nuego, Bacosta County, still under a winter weather advisory until 4 a.m. Uh, they got temperatures still down around the freezing mark there. There may be some slushy, snow-covered, slippery roadways there. And that's the reason for the advisory. Everybody else, well, not a whole lot going on. We have seen the change over to rain here across our southern counties and across our northern counties there, especially along and north of I-96. All that blue is snow. That's still going on. But south of Grand Rapids, most of us have seen the change over there, especially along and south of the I-94 corridor. And as we continue to push in uh, warmer air or lift warmer air in, that changeover will continue to occur. There's more rain. Notice it's all green. It's all liquid with warmer air in place. That's what's coming our way. We're going to push that snow out of the way and move it up to the north here as the warmer air builds in. Again, 32 up there in Big Rapids, 33 in Fremont. That's technically our high so far today in GR at 35 degrees, but we're not done yet. I think the warmest temperature up around 36, 37 uh, will actually occur up around midnight. We're 37 in both uh, Kalamazoo and Three Rivers, already up to 39 in Benton Harbor. As we look at your Tuesday evening planner, 35 at 7 p.m. with some rain or snow going on. 9 p.m., 36 degrees with rain or snow. Then all of us pretty much transitioning over to just some light rain showers hours in drizzle at 11 p.m. with 37 degrees. For those extreme northern counties, it could take a little bit longer, but most of us will see the transition to liquid precipitation as we go through the evening and certainly through the overnight hours and those temperatures continue to rise. We'll look at the complete West Michigan forecast and your Thanksgiving part of it as well.